Hello friends. Welcome to our channel for section 1 mock test. Before starting the mock test, please watch our videos for section 1 part 1 and section 1 part 2 PHV handbook version 1. The links for the videos are in the descriptions. After watching those videos, you will feel confident for the mock test. So let's start the mock test for section 1 Seru assessment. Question 1. You must be aged or older when you apply for your license. There is no upper age limit. Your options are 16, 18, 21, 25. Select correct answer and drag it into the space in the sentence. Unsuited word must be dragged into the red box before moving to the next sentence. The correct answer is 21. And rest of the options will go into the box. Question 2. What information is displayed on your PHV driver's badge? Option A. Your name. Photograph. License number. And the date of your license period ends. Option B. Your name. Photograph. Date of birth. License number. And the date of your license period ends. Option C. Your name. Photograph. Date of birth. And license number. Option D. Your name. Photograph. License number. The date of your license period ends. And vehicle registration number. Please choose one correct option. Pause the video to read again. Correct answer is option A. Your name, photograph, license number, and the date of your license period ends. Question 3. Which driving licenses are accepted by TFL while applying for PHV driver's license? Option 1. A full driving license from DVLA, Northern Ireland, European Union, EU, or European Economic Area, EA, that is at least one year old. Option 2. A full driving license only from DVLA and Northern Ireland that is at least three years old. Option 3. A full driving license from DVLA, Northern Ireland, European Union, EU, or European Economic Area, EA, that is at least three years old. Please choose one correct answer. The correct answer is option three. A full driving license from DVLA, Northern Ireland, European Union, EU, or European Economic Area, EA, that is at least three years old. Question 4. Which of the following are considered as licensing requirement? Option A. You must have the right to live in the UK. Option B. You must have the right to live and work in the UK. Option C. You must have a British passport. Option D. You must be in the UK for at least one year. Please choose one correct answer. The correct answer is option B. You must have the right to live and work in the UK. Question 5. As soon as you are licensed, you need to keep communication with TFL. How can you do it? Option A. Answer phone call from TFL. Option B. Call or email them and ask them if there is any update. Option C. Respond to any letters, emails, or other forms of communication. Option D. Always check your email and respond immediately. Please choose one correct answer. The correct answer is option C. Respond to any letters, emails, or other forms of communication. Question 6. 
If you develop a new medical condition that may affect your ability to drive and are unsure what to do, who should you contact for advice? Option A. Contact your doctor for advice. Option B. Contact TFL for advice. Option C. Contact DVLA for advice. Option D. Check online for advice. Please choose one correct answer. The correct answer is option B. Contact TFL for advice. Question 7. What do the abbreviations SERU stand for? Option A. Safer, Equality, and Regular Understanding. Option B. Speaking, Eloquently, and Regularly Understanding. Option C. Safety, Equality, and Regulation Underground. Option D. Safety, Equality, and Regulatory Understanding. Please choose one correct answer. The correct answer is option D, safety, equality, and regulatory understanding. Question 8. From what age, all PHV drivers must have a medical assessment every year? Option A. From the age of 45. Option B. Never. Option C. PHV drivers must need a medical examination each time they apply to renewal of license. Option D. From the age of 65. Please choose one correct option. The correct answer is option D. From the age of 65. Question 9. If your PHV driver's badge or license has been stolen, who should you inform? Option A. TFL. Option B. Police. Option C. TFL and the police. Option D. None of them. Choose one option. The correct answer is option C. TFL and the police. Please take crime reference number from police. Question 10. Which documents of yours, the PHV operators must keep copies? Option A. PHV driver's license, your DVLA or NI or EU or EA driving license, PHC driver's badge and passport. Option B. PHV driver's license, your DVLA driving license, your insurance certificate, PHV driver's badge and passport. Option C, PHV driver's license, and your DVLA or NI or EU or EA driving license. Option D, PHV driver's driver's license, and your insurance certificate. Please choose one correct option. The correct answer is option C, PHV driver's license, and your DVLA or NI or EU or EEA driving license. Question 11. The medical requirements are the DVLA. Space. Medical standards. Your options are Group 3, Group 5, Group 2, Group 7. Select correct answer and drag it into the space in the sentence. Unsuited word must be dragged into the box before moving to the next sentence. The correct answer is Group 2. Question 12. You will need to take a space. Test to check your ability to select and plan a route, read a space, and identify locations. The test is held in a center approved by space and conducted under exam conditions by a TFL examiner. This test is known as a topographical skills assessment. Option are separate, same, map, book, TFL, DVLA. Select correct answer and drag it into the space in the sentence. Unsuited word must be dragged into the box before moving to the next sentence. The correct answer is separate, map, TFL. 
Question 13. If TFL sent you an exemption notice of wearing driver's badge, you must. Option A. Believe no one can be exempt from wearing a badge. Option B. Carry exemption notice with you at all times when working as a PHV driver. Option C. Carry a copy of exemption notice and driver license with you at all times when working as a PHV driver. Option D. Keep your driver's badge in your car at all times when working as a PHV driver. Please choose one correct answer. The correct answer is option B. Carry an exemption notice with you at all times when working as a PHV driver. Question 14. Where you should keep your license? Option A. Keep in your car all the time even while you are not working. Option B. You should keep your license at home in a safe place. Option C. Keep with you always while you are working. Option D. Give it to your PHV operator and they will keep it in their safe place. Please choose one correct answer. The correct answer is option B. You should keep your license at home in a safe place. Question 15. Who else can use your PHV badge? Option A. Any PHV driver license holder. Option B. Any PHV driver license holder who registered as the same address of yours. Option C. No one except you. Option D. Any member of your family. Please choose one answer. The correct answer is option C. No one except you. Question 16. If a vision-impaired person asks you for your license number, what would be your response? Option A. You should tell them your driving license number because they can't see. Option B. You should give them your badge because a vision-impaired person can also know that you are licensed. Option C. Tell them they could call the operator if they don't trust you. Option D. No passenger has any right to see your driver's badge. So don't give to them. Choose the correct option. The correct answer is option B. You should give them your badge, because a vision-impaired person can also know that you are licensed. Question 17. From what age, all PHV drivers must have a medical assessment each time they renew PHV license? Option A. From the age of 45. Option B. Dot, from the age of 65. Option C. Dot, PHV drivers only need a medical examination each time they apply to renewal of their license. Option D. Dot, from the age of 55. Please choose one option. The correct answer is option A. From the age of 45. Question 18. You should tell TFL immediately if, between medical examination, you develop any new medical condition of the following. COVID-19. Psychiatric illness. Epilepsy. Flu or cough. All of them. Please choose one or more correct options. The correct answers are psychiatric illness and epilepsy. Question 19. Please choose the one correct statement from the following statements. Option A. Your PHV driver's license doesn't contain your address. Option B. The address on your PHV driver's license should be the same as the address on your DVLA license. Option C. You don't need to tell TFL if both addresses are not the same. Option D. 
Your DVLA license doesn't contain your address. Choose the correct option. The correct answer is option B. The address on your PHV driver's license should be the same as the address on your DVLA license. Question 20. What is the time limit to inform TFL? If you change your address. Option A, 7 days. Option B, 14 days. Option C, 21 days. Option D. None of them. Please choose one correct option. The correct answer is option C, 21 days. Question 21. From following conditions, on which condition you must tell TFL immediately if. Option A. You are arrested. Option B. You are charged with, convicted or cautioned for any crime. Option C. Fixed penalty notice or penalty points on your driving license. Option D. All of them. Please choose the correct option. The correct answer is option D. All of them. Question 22. If you are on a student visa in the UK and you have right to work for limited number of hours, which statements is valid? Option A. TFL won't issue any license for them. Option B. TFL will issue a license without condition. Option C. TFL will issue a license with an appropriate condition on the license that they won't be allowed to work as a self-employed. Please choose correct option. The correct answer is option C. TFL will issue a license with an appropriate condition on the license that they won't be allowed to work as a self-employed. Question 23. If you get frequent parking ticket, what can be done by TFL? Option A. TFL may take licensing action against you. Option B. Nothing will be done by TFL. Option C. TFL PHV department won't know about it, so just relax. Option D. TFL will ask you to take SERU test again. Please choose correct option. The correct answer is option A. TFL may take licensing action against you. Question 24. What level of English standard is required? Option A. Level 1. Option B. At least A B1 level. Option C. GCSE English Standard. Option D. No English test is required for British passport holder. Please choose correct option. The correct answer is option B. At least A B1 level. Question 25. If for any reason your license is revoked, you must return your license to TFL within. Your options are 14 days, 7 days, 21 days, 28 days. Select correct answer and drag it into the space in the sentence. Unsuited word must be dragged into the red box before moving to the next sentence. The correct answer is 7 days. Question 26. B1 is a level of English in what? Option A. Common European Framework of Reference for Languages, CEFR. Option B. Community European Firework of Writers for Languages, CEFR. Option C. Common English Fast Reference, CEFR. Option D. Common European Framework Road of Languages, CEFR. Please choose the correct option. The correct answer is option A. Common European Framework of Reference for Languages, CEFR. Question 27. Whose property is the TFL badge and license? Option A. 
your own property. Option B, DVLA's property. Option C, property of TFL at all times. Option D, Mayor of London's property. Please choose correct answer. The correct answer is option. Property of TFL at all times. 2030. Where can you find the information about changing your address and your driving license? Option A. Ask other licensed drivers in family. Option B. Back of your DVLA license. Option C. The PHV operator. Option D. Driver's handbook. Please choose correct option. The correct answer is option B. Back of your DVLA license. Question 31. If you have broken the law and have been disqualified from driving, what are the actions you must take from following? Option A. Inform the DVLA. Option B. Inform the TFL and police. Option C. Inform the TFL and police, and send your PHV driver license. Option D. Inform the TFL and send your PHV driver license and badge. Please choose the correct option. The correct answer is option D. Inform the TFL and send your PHV driver license and badge. Question 32. If you lose your PHV driver's badge or license, or somebody steals it, which statement is applies to your condition? Option A. You cannot continue working as a PHV driver. Option B. You can continue work as long as you have a police reference number with you. Option C. You can continue work as long as you have a police reference number and a copy of your license with you. Option D. You cannot continue driving your licensed vehicle. Please choose one option. The correct answer is option A. You cannot continue working as a PHV driver. Question 33. What does the DBS stand for? Option A. Driving and Barring Service. Option B. Diplomatic Bureau Service. Option C. Disclosure and Barring Service. Please choose correct option. The correct answer is option C. Disclosure and Barring Service. We tried to cover almost everything for Section 1. But our advice is please keep watching our Section 1 PHV Handbook videos for detailed explanation on the topic. And please subscribe our channel so we can create more videos for other sections of mock test.